Hello everyone, Hammond2109 here. Um, I'm going to build a death looper. And basically what that means is, I, I've seen these things and I thought they were really cool and decided to go ahead and build one. I'm going to do a tutorial on it while I build mine in case anybody else wants to build one. Basically what it is, is it's a mechanism that's got two trees standing in the front. The trees spread the gargoyle or whatever it is jumps out at you and then the head moves left and right that's what i'm gonna build well today is part one of of that build and i'm calling mine the death leaper okay well anyway here we here we go here is how to get started on that problem first thing you need to do is you need to build this i'm going to go ahead the 90s, do not glue these 90s at the end. Right here, do not glue them. This is a three inch piece on each side, a nine and a quarter inch piece here, nine and a quarter on the bottom, 18 on each side. You wanna go ahead and make this and glue this together, except do not do not glue the 90s. You want to leave them off. The next part of it. You need to cut a piece of wood. The piece of wood that you need to cut needs to be just like this. It is 12 by 21 inches. This hole right here from the end is four and three eighths inches in. It's another two and a half inches for the hole. If you measure from here, it's four inches out from to the end of the hole, and then two and a half inches back. So the hole is a two and a half by two and a half inch hole put right here with this center. You need to cut take right beside that and cut a piece of two by four, five inches long, and then screw it through here. Do you need to cut another piece of two by four? Right here, 11 and a half inches long, and then screw it from the bottom. Okay, the next step. This is a piece of three quarter PVC. This is a piece of three quarter PVC right here going across the top. This piece of pipe has to be the thin wall three quarter or this will not work. Okay. Um, all right. Now, and this piece here cuts 13 and a quarter inches long. Well, excuse me, I told you wrong. This piece cuts 12, this is 12 inches here on the three quarter thin wall. Okay. The next thing you need to do is cut half, this is half inch. This is the 13 and a quarter inch piece that I was talking about a second ago that goes inside of the three quarter. Has to be thin wall or it will not go inside of the three quarter. Oh, and the other thing about this is you have to do these metal clamps that hold the pipe in and make sure they're really tight so that the pipe's not gonna move. Okay, so now this is our 13 and a quarter inch piece. You want to put a coupling on glued. You want a two inch piece between them. I used a T because I had a T, but you can use a 90 if you want, right here. And then a four inch piece right on the end. And what this actually does This part right here will slide up inside of the other part to the point where the coupling right there touches. 
Now, here's what's next. You need to cut a 10 inch piece of half inch pipe. Half inch coupling. This coupling right here glues on to here. Now when, now I'm not gluing mine on, I haven't done it yet because of I, because I want to demonstrate how to build this thing but basically what happens is that pipe right there rides in between the three quarter and it's like an eighth of an inch play that it can go back and forth but it holds it in there so that it drives very easily okay well let's see I put this thing together wrong it goes like this it goes this way and then this piece goes through here like this. And this is for the head. So the head, far, as far as it turning left and right, it works just like that. All right, the next thing. I've got my cylinder right here, which is a two inch stroke cylinder be honest the bore on this thing I wouldn't use you three quarter inch bore would be fine a three quarter inch bore two inch stroke would be fine for this the next thing is on this piece of pipe right here there's a hole drilled at two inches straight through my cylinder let's see let me get start getting it put together now depending on your cylinder this bottom hole right here that holds the cylinder on it will change so it will change. So that hole is not a definite must, but the one up here that drills at two inches through this part has got to be right. So you get the bolt for it now. Next thing is the bolt right here it goes through here it goes through the cylinder so when the cylinder works it moves it up and down which turns the head left and right and this is actually the ghoul's body and that right there will turn the head left and right Okay, next. The PVC frame that you built. It will drill in four places. Here, 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 and here. On the plywood. So we're going to put it in there like this. We're going to put it just like that on top of that. And that will be the PVC frame that actually will hold the arms on and everything. And we'll go ahead and mount it off to that. Well, that's part one on this build. Um, any questions, just ask. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.